Let us hear together the word of God as we find it in Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, reading verses 35 to 48. And I'll be reading in the Revised Standard Version of Scripture. Let us hear God's word together. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. And as they were saying this, Jesus himself stood among them, and they were startled and frightened and supposed that they saw a spirit. But he said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do questionings arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself handle me, and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones as you, you see I have. And while they were still disbelieving for joy and wonder, he said to them, Have you anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it before him. Then he said to them, These are my words which I have spoken to you while I was with you that everything written about me in the law and the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that Christ should have suffered and on the third day rise from death and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name in all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses to these things. Amen. This is the word of the Lord, and may God bless it to all our hearts. Let us pray. Lord God, we come before you as people who have lived through times when deaths were many, where faith was tested, and where hope was at times scarce. Grant us hearts to grasp the wonder and amazement of his first followers when they who had seen him die met him in life. May we live as Christian people who walk in the light and hope of his resurrection from this time forward. Amen. <laughs> 